AR, VR, AI. There's a lot of abbreviations going around lately. In addition, Apple made it a big deal announcing at WWDC that they have launched their own augmented reality platform. But do we understand what they are? What's the difference between them and how will they impact our lives? Let's take a look at AR in this video and be sure to hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss the rest of the series. This video is actually made in partnership with Wikitude, which is the world leading AR developer with a community of more than 100,000 developers. And they decided to sponsor a video of a tiny channel with 6,000 subscribers. Like how awesome is that for supporting small YouTubers? So augmented reality or AR is a technology which allows users to see information and media such as 3D models and videos overlaying in real time the camera view of a smartphone, for example. Remember Pokemon Go? That's AR. On the other hand, if something is completely immersing you in the digital experience and blocks out the real world, that's VR or virtual reality. So on one side, the technology we have um, is interacting with the real world and on the other side, there is a virtual world created by technology to replace the real world. If we return to Pokemon Go, do you remember how everybody praised the going out aspect of the game? Yeah. So there's three main types of AR. First, you have the location-based AR, which displays AR content based on the location of the user using GPS info. This is the oldest type of AR. For example, Yelp app uses your GPS coordinates and compass info to display information about nearby restaurants. Then there is image recognition and tracking, also known as marker-based AR. This allows you to scan 2D images and see interactive content. For example, take your IKEA catalog, which will be used as a marker, Plop it on the floor, open your IKEA app, and bam, you can see exactly how your furniture will look like in your home. But the newest and the most innovative is markerless AI, or sometimes referred to as SLAM. SLAM stands for Simultaneous Localization and Mapping, and with it, you can simply place AR content in the world using markerless tracking. Wikitude launched this technology in January 2017, naming it Instant Tracking and Apple calls it World Tracking in their AR kit. If you like turtles, you're gonna love this example. Just put a pet turtle in your backyard! It looks so realistic, you just want to pet it! <laughs> and you can move around and the turtle you'll see is still there and it's still tracking the surrounding area as you move. And then you'll say, Okay, cat, this is all fun and nice, but does AR have any useful value now? There is so many possibilities how we can use AR to make our lives easier. For example, if you're an architect, you could use its 3D modeling and design capabilities to create and view 3D models of your future home right there on the spot. A lot of AR benefits really come to light with use of AR-enabled smart glasses. Because you're suddenly free of physical screens, AR makes great use of controls through voice, hands, and brain-computer interfaces. You could also use it for facial recognitions. Um, imagine if you could know names of all the people you ever met. As with any new technology, uses of AR are limitless. So if you're a developer, you can download a free trial of Wikitude SDK by clicking the link in the description. If you, and if you are not a subscriber of mine, I, it would mean a world to me if you could hit that red subscribe button. See you soon. Bye.